So I'm here with Carlos. He's the game designer of Heimrich. Uh, Story Warriors, Fairy Tales. Story Warriors. Actually, actually um, I mean, we're, we're showing both games. Okay. Uh, but right now we're focusing on Story Warriors, Fairy Tales, okay. which is this uh, very interesting version of Fairy Tales for kids, which lets you read but play at the same time. It's kind of like a different concept. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, you know, you get to go to certain words and pull out these weapons or the keys or whatever. So how did you come up with this idea? Well, it was kind of, um, you know, spontaneous. We were working on experimental gameplay and we were told, okay, you need to do something with stories. So we said, okay, we can do a story-based game, but that's kind of like overdone. So how about if we interact directly with the story, with the words of the story? So we come up with this idea that whatever word you, you came on top of, it would come to life. So we said, oh, this sounds interesting. So we started developing it. And uh, actually, we did a prototype. And we put it online. It was very short, very ugly. But like 100,000 people loved it. So we said, OK, this has potential. And we started developing a, a, the bigger version, which is fairy tales. Okay. And then um, can you tell a little bit about this main character here? Okay, that's Bella, uh, Bella Basic. She's the protagonist of Story Warriors. She's this girl who uh, is reminded of how fairy tales work. She's reading a book with her mother, actually, at the beginning of the game. And she starts traveling through all of the fairy tales that she reads with her mother. So she goes to uh, Red Riding Hood world, Cinderella world, Sleeping Beauty world. So it's all of these worlds, all these fairy tales that get mixed up in her head. So that's how she interacts with all of these characters. So is this kind of like she gets pulled into this world, or is it like a dream, or...? It's, I mean, we'd like to keep it, you know, uh, very, very ambiguous, very ambiguous. She's with her mother, but, um, you know, you, you have to play it, and you can see for yourself, and you can decide on yourself uh, where that's the case. And then it looks like it's on, um, this is an iOS? Yeah, and, yes. and soon to be on Android and Windows Mobile. And then, any plans on bringing it to like uh, Steam or anything like that? At least for now, uh, I mean, it's going to be mostly mobile. Because uh, of the so, touch. Huh? Because of, like, the touch. Yeah, because of the touch, and we're working really hard with our publishers, you know, Canon. I mean, to try to have everyone get access to it. Uh, so you know, Windows Mobile, Android, uh, iOS, we think like most, mostly everyone has a phone right now. So we want to have it available for everyone. And then, is this a free ver a free game? Is this a paid game? It's a premium game. It's one ninety nine on iOS, um, and the plans for Android and other things are, you know, soon to be disclosed. And then, are you planning on including like more adventures with her later on for updates and stuff? Yes, I mean, you have a lot of fairy tales. I mean, we covered some of the basics, but we'd like to include more fairy tales in the future, and even uh, some particular fairy tales from parts of the world. You know, we come from Colombia and other part of the world, so we have our own fairy, ta fairy tales. So we'd like to show a lot of those uh, particular folklore from different uh, parts of the world. So we'd love to do that. Yeah, that's awesome. And would you keep it the same character? Would it still be Bella? Or would you like introduce other characters for these different stories? We'd like it to be Bella, but you know, with different apparel, with different uh, clothes, with you know, different style. So, for instance, when she's playing as a Sleeping Beauty, she's like uh, sleepy all the time. So we like her to be, you know, uh, very flexible. Uh, so we like it to be, you know, the main protagonist of the story. Awesome. And then, what are these other um, games that you're showing off right now? Well, um, we're showing also Heimrich, which is like another uh, more adult type, uh, adult type of game, more for consoles, more for PC. Uh, so we're trying to, you know, um, show people that we're very flexible in in our development. One, this one's more for children, uh, you know, for you to share with your family to entertain yourself. But this one is more for, you know, the, that um, average gamer uh, who's, who enters Steam and wants, you know, a little bit of action, a little bit of puzzle, but a little bit of that indie flavor. So that's Heimrich. Awesome. And then, I mean, would you also say some of your um, inspiration for this is kind of like educational purposes, helping kids to read and stuff like that? Well, I mean, I don't think it's strictly educational. I think it's entertaining. And at the same time, you can learn from it. So kids can just, um, you know, it's very safe for parents to let children play with it. And they can also be certain that the children will learn. 
but at the same time they will be entertained but they will not be thinking okay I'm being educated uh, this is you know a lesson or something like that no it's entertaining it's uh, it's nice for them you know to be just uh, having fun but at the same time they will be learning something so I think that's a plus plus for parents absolutely I mean those are the best kind of way to learn is just by having fun right <laughs> well awesome well thank you so much thank you so much